So here we are, we're going to continue our invasive species topic and we have this guy in the background. This has an incredible name, but at the moment it has an incredible smell. This is skunk cabbage. So it's called American skunk cabbage and it was brought across because it looks pretty and again when you see it this is a pretty minging bog and it looks quite pretty in it. So brought across as a decorative plant to make things look nice. So these ponds, these bogs, these river streams look really pretty with a yellow flower. It's a nice idea but it's invasive. So what happens is it actually takes over. So the seed coming from these yellow flowers spreads really easily. And what that means is it can distribute its seed very quickly, very easily to fill this bog. What this plant does is it grows massive leaves and what happens is these massive leaves block out the sunlight to the native Scottish species. So it means any other bog type plants can't grow because this stuff is taken over. So the smell coming off these guys is incredible. From the main path, which is just over that direction, you can actually smell the plant. Not dissimilar to what they say a skunk smells like. I've never smelt a skunk, but I imagine it smells pretty foul. And just the aroma coming up from these guys is very foul. I'm not a fan of that. What happens is the smell attracts the bugs. What happens then, the bugs land on these flowers just here and they gather the pollen and move around and fertilise the other skunk cabbages, allowing this non-native invasive species to thrive in a Scottish bog. Beautiful, but not so good for our native plants. we have a perfect example of non-native species taking over. We have the rhododendron right next to the skunk cabbage. If only we had Japanese knotweed here, we'd have the triple. But non-native, non-native taking over and spreading everywhere. So the important thing about spotting these plants is telling someone. So what I'm going to do when I get back is I'm going to go onto the website and I'll put a little link down here. And that website is a great site. It's run by volunteers and these volunteers will come to this area. I'll give them a location on the map and they'll start to get rid of it. It's a really slow process and the volunteers do an amazing job at removing the things. So whether it be rhododendron, skunk cabbage, Japanese knotweed, Himalayan balsam and other invasive species. These guys know how to remove it and they'll get it done properly. Don't try and remove it yourself because this isn't our land. So we'll report it to the landowners and we'll also report it to the people that can remove it effectively. So I hope you've enjoyed learning about American skunk cabbage. It's a really pretty plant, but it doesn't belong in our Scottish natural land. So let's do our best, take pictures, and then report it to the people that can deal with the situation. Thanks very much.